script of the Popol Vuh is expansive and rich, divided into a series of parts or books. In the beginning sections, it narrates the creation story of the Maya, involving deities such as the creator, the former, the dominator, and the feathered serpent, who collaborate to bring the world and humanity into being. It details the creation and destruction of earlier beings and the eventual mastering of the human form, sculpted from maize. The narrative then shifts to the legendary adventures of the hero twins, Hunapu and Expalanke, demigods essential to Mayan folklore. These trickster figures engage in battles with gods of the underworld, showcasing themes of life, death, and rebirth, which deeply resonate within the Mayan ideology. Following the mythological accounts, the latter portion provides a historical chronicle of the Kitsch people, detailing their migrations, intertribal relations, and governance. This section serves to root the divine narrative in the lived experience of the Quiche populace, linking rulers and commoners alike to the transcendent deeds of their mythic ancestors. The earliest known copy of the Popol Vuh, transcribed by Ximenez, resides within the Newberry Library in Chicago, Illinois. It is part of the Ayer Collection, one of the premier collections of American Indian materials in the United States. Access to this delicate manuscript is restricted due to preservation concerns, but its contents have been studied extensively and translated into various languages, allowing the Popol Vuh to reach an audience far beyond its origins. As a document, the Popol Vuh not only confers invaluable insights into the Maya civilization, but also underscores the resilience of indigenous cultures in preserving their heritage amidst conquest and colonization. Its verses continue to embody the spiritual foundation for the Maya people and serve as a potent symbol of the enduring voice of indigenous narratives throughout the Americas and the world. In literature, the arts, and scholarship, the Popol Vuh remains an influential force, a touchstone for understanding the past and a conduit for perpetuating the wisdom of the ancients into the future. Please like and subscribe. I'm Dave. Have a happy day.